Woods here and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another baseball vlog. Today the Giants is taking on the Padres and today is also a 10 number 9 where I will be going to AT&T Park and hopefully see my team win. The previous 8 attempt has been a complete failure although last time we came the closest from getting a win. So let's just hope we can of course finally get a win on our ninth attempt. But without further ado, let's go to the ballpark right now. Right, just walking to the ballpark right now. Uh, tonight is Game of Thrones night and they are gonna give me a promotional item. So just like the last episode, we are of course going to be doing a box opening. Uh, we'll be doing that box opening when we get to the stadium. By the way, they gave me this lollipop uh, for a bonus for some reason. Uh, what is this, by the way? Is this C's candy? I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. See? C's candies. Let's open this box. First of all, let's take a look at the outside. I need to go like this because the box is vertical. It's a very big box, that is. This, of course, is the actual thing with 100 pence in it. I really wish it was Madison Bumgarner because that would be so much better. Or Buster Posey. But yeah, these are the bobblehead. It's a hundred pence iron throne bobblehead. Right, time to open this. And let's put this back to vertical. Let's get rid of the plastic boxing. And there it is. Yep, the House of Pens. Is he also bubble? Yes, you betcha. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Again, I wish it was Buster Posey or Madison Baumgartner. It would have been much better, but I'll take it with 100 pence. So the teams have just been announced, and it looks like there's going to be a whole sales of changes in the batting lineup. Uh, Nunez, uh, Crawford, Posey, and Pence is back in the lineup. And also Madison Bumgarner is going to be pitching for the first time here at AT&T Park ever since his dirt bike accident. So I'm definitely very excited to see him pitch. And his opponent tonight will be Chasm. Uh, I don't exactly know how you pronounce the opponent's pitcher's first name, so I'm just gonna pronounce his last name as Chasm. And of course, for the prediction of this game, I mean, it's already been kind of like cliche now, but surely this has to be the one. Surely that the knife attempt will finally be the one where I finally see this team win as I'm here at AT&T Park. I mean, for goodness sake, we're playing against the Padres and we have Madison Bumgarner on the mound, which so far is by far our best pitcher right now out of every single guys in the pitching staff. So, I'm gonna predict it's gonna be a win. I'm gonna say it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be 3-2. That is going to be my prediction. And as usual, let's go Giants. Please do not let me down again for the ninth time. Well, 
guys, we have just given up a home run. It's not in the first inning though, but it's in the second and we are down one nothing. By the way, who is it? I think it's Renfro that hit it off to left field and we are down one nothing. Or actually no, we're down two nothing. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on. It's 2-1 Padres now, yeah! and we're in this game. Oh, yes, yes, there we go, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we're tied, 2-2, two -two. base hit yeah! from Nunez. Hey, I keep doing RBI this. single, I keep it's 2-2. Well. Oh my goodness, we give up a home run. Oh my goodness, and he, and I'll tell you what, he hit that one a ton, all the way out to 421. Um, who was it? That's pretty impressive, actually. Spanksburg or something like that. Corey but Spanksburg. we are losing 4-2. Oh, that that is so frustrating. Right, time to do it. I got a special guest. Hi. JD. Here we go. Take, Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. It's a root, root, root for the Giants. They don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three straight, you're out. No ball game. Well, that L is started to grow a little bit larger because it is now 5-2 Padres. It's the story of the season, guys. We just cannot hit with runners in scoring position and key situation. It's so frustrating. Here's the three, one, two. And he struck him out to end the game, and the Giants lose 5-2. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is now 9-L and counting. To just finish, the Giants lose again. I mean, it's been pretty much a traditional thing to say about this season. It has just been an absolute miserable season. The loss count is now up to nine, and it is now one game away from double digit. By the way, in this game, once again, we dig ourselves in a hole straight away. Um, and then we came back in the sixth inning, and it was 2-2, and they were pretty fine at that point. I thought things were gonna happen again. And then in the seventh inning, in classic Giants fashion, they let you down by losing the lead, and Madison Bumgarner giving up that home run, two run homer was really painful to see. And now Mad Bum is 0-4, and he is now 0-6 overall this season um, in terms of him at the mound, which is absolutely shocking, considering the fact that this pitcher is on the same level as Clayton Kershaw. And, you know, I mean, I don't know what to say, guys. This is just, you know, it has to happen. I keep saying this in my post-game talk, but it has to happen. Eventually, it will happen. Hopefully it will be this season. Hopefully the next time I will go to a Giants game, they will of course will win. But until then, we're gonna have to suffer another loss. And as usual, make sure you guys leave a like, click that subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. And hopefully next time it will be a W. Crawford, RBI single, 3-1, the comeback is on.